In this quick tip video, we'll look at how to use Photoshop's Blend If feature in Affinity Photo. In the Affinity programs, this feature is called Blend Options. And it's also supported in Affinity Designer and Publisher. So I have this image open here in Affinity Photo. I have a landscape layer above a magenta layer below it. I made the background magenta just so we can easily see what's happening. So to access the Blend Options for the landscape layer, I'll make sure that layer is selected. And then I'll click this gear icon here that says Blend Options. So I'll click that. And now I have this tool here. There's a left side and a right side to it. Let's talk about the left side first. This is the source layer ranges, and this will let me set the transparency of the layer. So if I drag it down to 50%, my layer has 50% transparency now. If I drag it down to 0%, my layer is fully transparent. And of course I can click this button here, reset, to get it back to 100% opacity. Now the interesting thing is what happens when I move these sides separately. So I'd move this side down. I can even click and drag a point on it there. What's happening is I can adjust the transparency based on the level of black and white in my image. So the left side is the darks on my image and the right side is the brights. So if I want to suppress all the black colors in my image, I can drag this left side all the way down. I can drag a line down here, put it all to zero. I can make a really sharp curve up like this. So now all the darks in my image have 0% opacity and the brights have 100% opacity. I can make it a gradual curve just by dragging one side down like that. I could also make all the whites transparent, so I'll reset it. I'll drag down the whites. And now we're just seeing the blacks because over here on the left, the blacks have 100% opacity. And then we're gradually going down to 0% opacity as we approach the whites. So this tool gives us more control over the transparency in our layer. Instead of just one setting that affects everything, we can change the opacity based on the levels of darks and lights. And it also works perfectly fine on color images too, so I have this color landscape here. I can suppress the darks this way, or I can suppress the whites. I'll drag this side down, and now the whites are transparent. Now let's look at the other side of the tool. I have this image here. It's text on top of an image background. I can also apply the blend options to text. So with this layer selected, I'll click the gear again. Now this right side is called the underlying composition ranges. This is still going to adjust the transparency of the level we're on, but it's going to base it on the level of black and white on the layers beneath it. Now that may seem kind of strange, but with an example like this, you'll see why it's useful. So I have this text here and there's bricks behind it. What if I want these gaps in the bricks to appear through our text? Well, what I can do is drag down the black side here of the underlying composition ranges. And what this does is it makes my text transparent when the layers behind it are black. So if I zoom into the words here, you can see this dark black part is appearing through. I can also adjust the curve here. When the layer below is dark, we're reducing the opacity to 0%. And then we're just gradually going back up to solid again. So this right side is very common when you have a texture below your image that you want to appear through it. Note that you can also use blend options for adjustment layers. So I have this image here. I'll add a recolor adjustment to it. So I'll select adjustments recolor. I'll make it something very extreme so you can see a difference. Let's make it some magenta color. Let's do that. So now I can actually modify the adjustment blend options. So I'll click this. And maybe I just want the adjustments to affect the highlights. So I can suppress them in the dark areas. Maybe I'll pull it down a little bit like this. So this blend range option is just affecting the adjustment layer here. If I close this, I can toggle on and off. So before, after, before, after. And you can also use blend options with the live filters here if you like. If there's any topic you'd like to see a video on, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.